this episode. Um, have vaccines, so he's having an allergic reaction. His face is swelling up, so we're going to give him some steroids and some Benadryl to bring the swelling down. And um, that's about it. She got an allergic reaction to the vaccines that she got. No, she normally doesn't turn like this, but she pretty much did. My face is so okay, Here's what's going on is that, first of all, both of them are late as shit. Which okay, is when they're an hour late and I've got you bitching to me that they're both fucking late and then they give me an attitude. Yeah, people, we've had clients walk up because they were waiting for something. And then the other thing is we can't, I have to speed work up, so I have to do the labels up front so she can just do it. I cannot run the fucking show, run the hospital, and do my goddamn... Okay, so Dr. Anderson is doing what she normally does, did say, speaking though, for somebody. Yeah, but he is saying that she doesn't have time to do all of that. Her fucking ass was here at 6 o'clock in the morning. What was she doing, counting pubic hairs? Probably. Did you take a dog up yesterday for saving Gizmo called Bubbles? I did. You did? Who called for that dog? The front. Who? Because they're both denying that they did Boom. it. I don't know who, but they said all the dogs from Gizmo. What? Bubbles went, though. He's the one that was in the, with the yeah, respiratory lane. Right. I think he's the one, yeah. Maybe Susie released him. But he went up. He's sure. saying that he did release, uh, he took him up. And I'm sick and tired of walking into medical, asking about a pet, like Cookie right now. Nobody talks. They just keep on going. This lady's been waiting here for over an hour. Seriously. Where's the chart? It's a medical. Okay, I went in there. Nobody wants to help me. Nobody wants to answer. I can't be back there and up front. Church right there. Thank you. Ricardo's the only one that ever freaking helps, but he wasn't in there. I got people up front. Okay, you said do rules, so I'm doing This was over an hour extra. ago. The lady it wasn't was an hour ago. The lady here. just clocked me hour. to the minute on her watch okay. and yelled at me. You just asked me for that chart before I started doing this. No, I asked you in that for that chart before she you as you said she got aggressive. Am I still she late? is aggressive. Look, look at her. Don't. That's what she said. She's got crazy eyes. Look, right now. forget. Can I finish this? No, oh, this. I can't forget it. This guy's in pain, and I need to take care of him. Okay, so you want this lady to wait another hour? No, Here you go. So You're gonna have a complaining client on your hand. Oh hell the fuck no! You're not passing this fuck on to me. I just walked in. <laughs> Bitch. Huh? What if they took it to adoption? No, Martin took it up front without because, and it's not Martin's fault. They said all the saving gizmo dogs. So he grabbed all these saving with the wrong. What happened? I broke it. No, I didn't break it. That was a loud noise. We're all afraid. What happened? Nothing happened. It was a loud noise. No, it was pressure. Huh? Pressure. That's what happens with pressure. So, pop. so then shut the fuck up when I explode next time. You should understand pressure. <laughs> You're a psychopath. I know. <laughs> you act like you know. You act like that's. Hi, I'm Alex. It's good work. I'm a psycho. Yeah. Oh, sorry, Claire, are you sure you're not bipolar? No, I'm no, not. Absolutely not. Oh, I've been, I'm, please, I've been, I've been. Alex, look at how cute she is. Give her kisses. Give her kisses. What? Want to see what's coming in, dog? Let me see. Too bad I'm going to get to miss it. Oh. Coming in from Lancaster, which is about two hours away. Are you nuts? I cannot be a receptionist, technician, what? supervisor, what and sitting like, and parking. Well, you can't be supervisor because you don't have any folders at the front. Hold her until she calls it. Hold, hold her okay. and don't put her down because she doesn't have explanations. It's a solid way to do it. Just 
It's a good thing that I'm the boss. I'm doing all the important work. Are these rooms empty? I don't know. She has me holding a dog. The one that was going to be your sign, the white fluffy one, they walked out. And they are trying to dump that dog at the shelter. Why didn't you just take it in? Because she wanted to talk to the doctor first. Let me get somebody in this room. I mean, see, that's Alma being retarded, making me hold the dog. That was her being fucking stupid. That's pretty nasty, huh? Jesus. So, this time he's playing with his friend, and as you know, it's all fun until someone gets a stick in the eye. Right? In the ass. Or the shoulder. Uh, fortunately, it looks like it's relatively superficial. So, Do you know they wanted to take the dog? Where? They have no money, so they wanted to take their dog home. Sometimes it just makes me speechless. Wait, what's that say today? Where do you find these people? Out? Yeah. So what we'll do, rather than pull the stick out, uh, we'll remove the skin that's over the stick, remove the stick, remove any damaged tissue, and sometimes some healthy tissue too, because we have plenty of tissue here to remove so that we make sure there aren't any splinters left to create abscesses or fistula, drain fistulas later, and this should suture up and he should be fine. So right now we're going to give him, under anesthesia, we're going to give him a local um, numbing agent so that he will feel more comfortable post-operatively, and of course he'll have pain meds and antibiotics to go home. So we finished the surgery with the pit bull. The wound looks beautiful. I think his owners will be coming tomorrow because they live several hours away. Um, the removal of the foreign body went really well. We were able to get healthy tissue easily without digging around. I feel quite confident there are no splinters left. They will heal beautifully. Huh? Who cut your fingernails? I don't cut my fingernails. I chew them. Fingernails? That's right. Don't fuck with me. I will fuck with you. I will cut you. But you won't. Oh, you just yell at Like me. this. You're not going to hurt. Sorry. Alex, I, I can't. <laughs> Did I tell you? She's really pushing hard. She's been here already for eight days. We like to come every day and feed her because she had trouble with her pregnancy. The puppy is to be the best for her, so probably they're gonna make uh, the surgery on her. I think she's gonna be alright, she's gonna make it alright. We wanna try to save the puppy because we want the puppy to I think, I think they're, they're doing a good job here. Do you want steak, chicken? This is
Well, this is a little dog. She came in um, just really depressed and um, just a lot of blood coming out of her rectum. And, um, you know, her owner let her out this morning. And um, I, there are other people that live in the backyard. There's a lot of homes that have uh, extra houses and the art houses in that. So I don't know if somebody kicked her or something, and that shouldn't really cause, like, bloody, uh, uh, a bloody diarrhea, you know? And um, we don't know if she got into something. So I did an x-ray to see if there was a bone. And there's no bone, um, but her stomach looks really weird. And, um, but I'm seeing fresh blood. Usually fresh blood represents the abdomen. And um, I don't know, I just worried about the way her stomach looks. She's a little bit too small to have a twist or torsion in her stomach. Um, and so I don't know if she ate something, to be quite honest. Uh, and also it's rat poison season, but rat poison doesn't make them um, have bloody diarrhea. You know, it, just, uh, it can have bloody diarrhea, but they're not gonna be depressed unless it's like in stage. And their gums should be white, her gums are very pink. So I think she had some kind of trauma. Um, there's nothing broken in here. Um, so I don't think she got hit by a car, but she couldn't possibly be hit. You, know you want to add corn fenicol. This is your handwriting? See, she can write nice when she wants to. Look at that. Look at how legible and pretty that is. Now I can show you a chart, let me find a chart, where she decides, yeah, there you go, same person writing. Look, same person right here. That's the same person writing it. You see how pretty she can write when she wants to? And then she'll go and do that. So when I moved you. I get physical with me. I'll whoop your fucking ass, all right? Wait, wait, Oh, look, you don't need to try and kiss me. I don't need your germs. I just need to know. They said they gave the chart to somebody to do the meds. Who? No, for saving no, gizmo. No, not saving gizmo. Okay. Who's doing the meds? Meds for what? For, for saving gizmo. Nobody? No, not yet. Because they said that she gave them to somebody to do. This one rescue is going to pick up their dogs around 11 o'clock. So I told them at 8 o'clock to get the meds ready. It is now, what time is it? Like 1 or 12? Meds aren't done. So they're going to come and they're going to be pissed. And then I'm going to have to do damage control again. It's like too much. Can I do the vaccine here? So you don't have to wait? Okay. Hi, pretty baby. Okay, let's wait till that dries because it'll sting. Hi! Don't move. Don't move. Shh, 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 You're done. You're done. Um, there is a possibility, because there's a couple of little um, growths on the mouth, that it's, it could be that contagious venereal cancer that's going around. And so she's freaking out. Right, that's what I told her. We're going to remove it and have it tested, but she's just freaking Isn't out that, that we want to take it and, you know, to be sure we can diagnose, because she said the owners, the new owners have other dogs. If they didn't have any other, other dogs, we wouldn't even be worrying at all, you know? Okay? All right. Okay, thanks. thanks, bye. What'd she say? Not to worry. But if it's contagious, then she can't go, right? To that home, she'll have to go to a home without other dogs. We're going to do a quick sedation, take those off, send them in. Dog's gonna go home today with some me medication. She was staying at another person's house. He has a little dog. I went and picked her up and I saw the two bumps on her lips and brought her to the rescue today to surrender her because I can't take care of her at my apartment and um, right now they checked and they said it could be either works or something more contagious and if it's contagious um, then she cannot be with another dog. So I was bringing her here because um, new people bought her so they were just doing a checkup with her. 
so I wanted to bring her before I gave her up completely. We're still waiting on the results. We won't know until Tuesday what those are on her lips. Because I'll go, I'm still ready to go with everybody in the stethoscope. Everybody keeps taking my room. What is that? Shit. Shit. She needs a stethoscope. It's around her neck. This is what I have to deal with. Oh my God. She needs a stethoscope and it's on her neck. How are you not babysitting your doctor? Snoopy. Can I get Snoopy? What's going on? Um, I bought him a few months ago and you guys gave him some meds and now he has a skin rash which has gotten a lot worse and now he even has it I think in here. I don't know what to do with him and as you can see like here we came because of this it was hard, it's still hard, it's still... Hi honey. Then he has a lot of spots, I'm not sure if they're hot spots or what they are. What kind of flea medicine is he on? He's not on any. I don't think he has fleas. You don't have to see it on him. Watch. Let's see. Put him on this paper for a second. Okay. So th see that? Uh -huh. And see that? Yes. And see that? Not the fur. Just those little black speckles. Okay. That's flea poop. Oh. That means somebody's eating your dog. Oh. And if you have one flea, um, it's one flea lays a million eggs. No matter how great you are, no matter how clean you are, no matter how... So, if so you, that's why he has all these... It, it, it could be one of the many things that oh, it could okay. be, but fleas are one of the reasons. So okay. you need to, you should always have flea medication on your dog. Okay, okay. Um, Which I can get him with. Yeah, you. yeah. But this would not be to do with no. fleas. That's something completely different. Okay? okay? So, yeah, this is a concern. So we'll, we'll get somebody to, to look on that. But, um... Uh, we'll take care of it, don't okay, worry. Thank okay, you. thanks. We'll be right back. Yes, Max looks great, huh? Yeah, did he have stones? Oh, remember he got a tumor, they were going to kill him. Oh, the doctor wanted to kill him. Remember they said it would have been and then we did the surgery. They thought with stitches, there's no stitches. They need to, I want them to take some jiggle and just hold it. And I'll send some home with some thermosine with them. Because um, he's licking a little bit, but I think a collar might bother him. So they just need to kind of- He's eating like crazy shit. That did, he looks great, so I just want them- He to looks amazing. Well, you need to, you need to go look in, um, you need to go look in room one. That's the dog that we donated the surgery on with the cancer, that they were gonna put him to sleep and now he's alive. Look at him, he's looking great. That's an ending to Max. So he's doing a lot much better. Um, he's walking. He's, um, I mean, way better. I mean, as before, now he drinks, he eats, does the usual. He's still uh, a little bit, um, you know, hurt, I guess. You can tell. But he's doing a lot much better. Even his, um, his hair is going back. <coughs> That is it's such a successful story. I had to talk them out of euthanizing their dog. Those are what makes everything worth it. That is what makes me put up with that. She keeps her animals on in the house. On leashes, she's like a quarter. And she's been, I haven't been able to find out where she lives. All right. Doesn't she have a doesn't she have an address on the chart? Some, somebody wants our client, even her um her son has to She won't see this client and the client wants no. to see only her. This person has been a client for years. They followed me for another client clinic. They never have any money, no money whatsoever. And she has animals, she refuses to spay and neuter her animals. And we keep telling her to her, she keeps breeding and breeding because she won't get them fixed. And Alex, 
She refuses. She's never gotten her animals fed. They, she's got cats. She gets scabies problems. She had it. I mean, she says she doesn't get any of the animals fed on it. Okay, this cat's like half dead. Well, because she waited. It's for not blocked. No, it's a feral cat, and the only reason she was able to get it is because it was dying. This so, is not blocked. Okay, yeah, I don't death. care about the. Talking you know, about birds of death. Oh, can we not let it die? Okay, if it's on the verge of death, are we just not going to do anything? Yeah, right. well, you don't have the file. Do She's handling. What do you mean? Are we just not going to do anything? Who said are we not going to do anything? Oh, stop. 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 Who said we're not going to do anything? I'm getting yeah, insulin it. to drive Beverly. some of the potassium. Beverly, how did I say? I'm a, I'm a cat. No, every, I'm like, what's going on? And he's going, I don't know. I go, are we not going to do anything? No. Yeah. <laughs> Well, well, I hate to like, I'm going to say the cat will die in the next five minutes. Go, 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 go. Right. Don't worry about us. Okay, no problem. I just have to worry about Are you going to call them? I need the phone number. I can't have her look it up. Oh, my God.